Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Corey with Skinny Fat Duck. I'm not making you a bow. You know why. There are no other weapons in the city. We all went along with the magistrate's weapons ban, so it wouldn't be an issue. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else beats me to it. <sighs> anyway, this is uh, our. Did he just climb up in a. Okay, whatever. This is our quick quack of the Forgotten City. I forgot what the, <laughs> forgot what the game was called. Um, it's kind of a um, time loop game, really. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Let's be buddies. I hope you're coping. So we're kind of cop hopping in here at the middle, but... Uh, oh, so soon? Well, be gentle on yourself. We're all dealing with a tragic loss today. But basically this, uh, this game started out as a... Uh, this game started out as an, a mod for... Uh, Skyrim and anyway they've turned it into a standalone game it's kind of a, a loot loop game where uh, you have to go through a couple of different things to or you know you have different playthroughs of what you're doing and that sort of thing so anyway we're kind of hopping in here at the middle of a loop um I want to show just a little bit about what this game is. Like you've got uh, great, great text like uh, a ceramic bowl full of urine, which the ancient Romans used because of the ammonia content to wash and bleach their clothes. Yeah. Welcome to my candy store. So the bulk of this game is going through and having conversations and kind of figuring out what's going on. Basically, there's a... Um, you're dealing with what they call the Golden Rule. Um, which causes everybody to kind of live in fear of what's going on. But at the same time, people circumvent it. So anyway, we're going to... Just hop into this conversation with this dude. Hi, Georgius. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. He's got and crazy eyes. Say, my sartorial friend, your clothing is most extraordinary. Leather boots in place of sandals, trousers with precise stitching, and such a curious design. I have traveled I'm from the future. trade routes from the markets of Damascus to the farms of India, and never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. Tell me, I must know, from which exotic part of the world do you hail? And now you have me more intrigued than before. But since it appears you do not wish to share, I will wait until we are better friends. We will have much time here to get to know one another. But for now, do you require assistance? I know you do not require clothing, so information perhaps? My story? How kind of you to ask. I am a tailor and I run the humble shop in the forum. You mean to say, with all the turmoil and terror of the golden rule and so few customers, why bother setting shop at all? I'll tell you, it is precisely because of the golden rule that I wish to remind my friends of the importance of looking one's best. I say, the more of our customs we preserve down here, the more we can preserve a semblance of normality, the better our chances of keeping our head. Don't you agree? Oh, and there is another reason too. If we all end up as golden statues for future generations to marvel at, I don't know about you, but I would like to look my best. <laughs> a good question. A very good question indeed. And I would be happy to tell you if only I could remember it clearly myself. Hmm, 
I remember I had just been to Rome to sell an extraordinary selection of wares, and drowning in coin, I decided to celebrate my success. I rented a prestigious villa by the Tiber, invited over a few select friends, and we began making our way through some of the most exquisite wine money could buy. Quite a lot of it, in fact. Now, I have had visions and awoken in strange places before. I have even found myself naked in the desert sands more than once, but none of that compares to this. This time, I remember people screaming, then falling into a void as empty as time before creation, gasping for air, and then nothing. When I regained my faculties, I was lying naked by the banks of the Tiber, gods know how many miles from my villa. Indeed. I'm lucky I was carrying a little extra weight. <laughs> I believe it kept me afloat. In any case, it seems I'd been rescued and doesn't seem by a benevolent to make much sense there, pal. I went to find firewood for his campfire, stumbled across a cave, and discovered that trapdoor temple. And here I am. So as you uh as you solve puzzles and that sort of stuff, it'll give you other parts of the quest that you have to figure out. You like. Shh. Not so loud. What are you playing at? Have you not been told about the last attempt? Oh, then I suppose this duty falls to me. Ah, it is a long story. Aha, you are witty. I like that. Of course, the first question any of us asks when we first arrive is, how do I escape? It is only natural after all. And scaling the chasm wall is out of the question, for it is simply too steep and too far. But as they say, if the wind fails, use the oars. And here the second option is to leave the way we came in, through the shaft above the bathhouse. So, ah. The shaft is quite high. But if one gathered up enough food, one could make a series of ladders and climb one's way out. They have. I am getting to that. There was an attempt made by resourceful fellows who lived here some years ago. They even decided to keep records of their escape attempt for posterity. Unfortunately, as soon as they began to carry the first ladder down the hallway, they heard a godlike voice sink the entire city. And that tragically is where their tail ends so it seems that to merely attempt escape is to invite the wrath of whichever god oversees this place and so i say it is best to not even discuss it aloud ah yes the many shall suffer for the sins of the one as a greek this is nothing new to me it is how our gods operate have you not heard the tale of the god hades he was the first to learn this dreadful lesson when he abducted Persephone and imprisoned her in the underworld. When Demeter, the mother of Persephone, learned of this, she did not punish Hades, the guilty one. Instead, she changed the climate of Earth so that it became hot and dry. Nothing grew. The grain turned to empty husks and the rivers dried up. Innocent people died by the tens of thousands until at last the other gods were forced to act lest they have no worshippers left. So yes, we know this rule. This has always been the case. The golden rule has merely brought it into focus. If we are to survive, I say we must each keep the simple wisdom of Thales of Miletus, first of the seven sages of Greece, who said, avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. It does, doesn't it? But it is not enough for us to do this alone. For even if 99% of us adopt this principle, that will never be enough. Sadly, no matter how well we protect ourselves, the life's work of many good people can be undone in the blink of an eye by a single... Oh, self excuse me. <laughs> ah, the voice of experience. I am sorry for your loss, my friend. But on... Um, a lighter note, I will say one thing for the Golden Rule. For all their grim and haunting poses, these golden statues do make magnificent models for my clothing. Do they not? 
That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Malone. I do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Nothing comes to my mind, my friend. This is troubling, is it not? I am afraid I have no idea. It is ridiculous, though. Virgil is a fine man. But my young friend Fabia confided in me that she saw someone leaving graffiti on his shop front last night. Perhaps you should ask her about it. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. All right. So through all that, we've gathered, uh, you know, new information and that sort of thing. You're basically just building up your... Uh, your collection of information. Alright. Who this dude is? I've talked with her. Talked with him. I guess I need to go talk to the this guy again. Are they? We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. So I've already gone through this a bit. Your name? <laughs> I'm Pete the pilot. If I understand correctly, someone is about to break the golden rule, forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here. I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume, we failed. And you had to start over. Is that about right? If so, what happened? of what you've learned and gathered and do better next time. Now, I assume you sought me out again for a reason. You mean Duilius? Releasing him is out of the question, I'm afraid. That man is a liability we simply cannot afford. Perhaps you're not aware he was caught multiple times sneaking around in places he should not have been. Look, I can see where you're going with this. You think me cruel. I assure you, that is not the case. You may not be aware of this, but it was not so long ago, during the Republic, the law of the Twelve Tables would have required that he be killed as soon as he was born, owing to his deformities. Here, we see to it that he has food, water, and shelter, and, most importantly, he is able to continue living. A privilege that would be taken away from all of us were he to be released and commit the crime of trespass. The man has no self-discipline, poor comprehension of what is going on around him, and is an incorrigible rule-breaker. I will not jeopardize the lives of my people so that one man can go free. Now, was there something else? Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. All right, so we had already talked with him. He's kind of the grand high poop of this place. Uh, this is his house. This is what we've gone through. Keep an eye out for Centella, would you? What is it, citizen? Um. All right. Anyway, there's a lot, a lot going on here. She's a buttock, but we'll have the conversation regardless. I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? You know, some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing god who's watching everything we do. But what kind of an awful, incompetent god would let my sister go missing on his or her watch? 
Oh, I'd say it to their faces if they had the courage to show themselves. Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? No response. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. I'm telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, or, like people are saying, it really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. Oh, and I suppose I'll just have to take the word of a know-nothing barbarian who just arrived, will I? That's why he sucks. I trust you can see yourself out. Anyway, so just to uh, kind of show what happens. So, um, the golden rule seems to be a thing that uh, isn't necessarily strictly enforced. But, let's see, today my father says to write a diary so I keep myself occupied while we all deal with the sudden and devastating disappearance of my sister. As a dutiful daughter, of course I shall oblige. The following pages can contain my innermost secrets. I know you're reading this, father. I may be young, but do not think me stupid. We're all entitled to our secrets. Alright. So I've looked at all that stuff. So, basically... If I go in here and steal these 17 the many deal, suffer I will now cause a uh, uh, poops. I will now cause a situation where they're kind of destroying the world, but I have to follow the old dude that I just talked to, who's the magistrate, to where he creates a portal where the whole thing just kind of starts over again. He does that, he dies, and then I go through the portal, and we start back over. So, granted, that's not typically how I would do this. Um, I know that you're not supposed to steal, but uh, anyway, in the interest of kind of showing you guys what it looks like, there we go. Uh, the other thing I like about this is you are in an ancient Rome type thing, but you also have a flashlight. Um, you can change the graphical styles to kind of fit in with other stuff um like an old game boy game you can go mosaic uh salve friend i'm galerius mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the shrine of proserpina oh that sounds serious i'm listening i didn't realize i couldn't change this once we're doing this yulia oh no all right, I can do that. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Uh, color cartoon. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, give us a like, consider subscribing. Again, my name is Corey with Skinny Fat Duck, and we'll see you next time.